following paid commercial program is brought to you by TD Wealth. Hello and welcome to Money Talk. I'm Kim Parley. Thanks so much for joining us. The prospect of higher interest rates in the United States continue to loom large over the markets and recent inflation data may do little to change that sentiment. My next guest says one thing is for certain that the U.S. is in the late stage of the economic cycle, suggesting there is downside risk on the horizon. We're joined now by Brad Simpson, Chief Wealth Strategist at TD Wealth. Lovely to have you here. Well, thanks for having me. So, uh, I guess, let me start this way. As, as we enter the end of February, um, you know, what's surprised you so far about 2023? Boy, where do you want to start? There's been a lot. <laughs> about the markets. Yeah, yeah. Oh, about yeah, the okay. markets. yeah, about the markets. Just keep it on the market. Okay. Uh, you know, I, I think unequivocally that, that I mean, a, a, a minor surprise, just, just how well fixed income and equity markets have. But I started with the minor. The second part of that is that if I broke that down, you know, equity markets started to rally in October of, of 22. Mm -hmm. I don't find that all that surprising. I, I, you know, there, it'd been a really day. You're going to get, you're, you're going to get kind of a blow off. And, and, but what's happened in January and the sort of the, the rally that we've gone through and what has been rallying, that, that, I, that I find really surprising. And, and, and I don't think I'm alone in that. But that, that when, when you look at, at, the environment that we're in, and you know, we we published our portfolio strategy quarterly in January, and it was called Right Here, Right Now, and really what we meant by that is that the market and the world that we're living in, we're going to see some real extreme times of negativity yeah. and extreme periods of optimism, and both of them are going to be quite fictional, right? And and. As we moved into January, fixed income markets were, st were trading on fact. Late stage economy, interest rates starting to move down a little bit, Conce obvious concern about inflation and a recession down the road. Equity markets went to fiction. Mm -hmm. And that, that's what surprised me. So I, I think we have a chart here that, that kind of hits have, that home. Oh, we, have we have two, two. charts. All right. Yes, yeah. Let's, let's All bring right. it up. So yeah, this is the, I think you've got a, a chart here looking at the laggards for 22, yeah. Yeah. which powered ahead in 23. Right. right. So, I mean, all we're showing here is, is, is we, what we said is we said, okay, let's look at the performance th for this year and say, well, the thing that for, performed the least well was the things that performed really well in 2022. And what, what performed well in 2022? Companies with good balance sheets, good business plans, great in, in, uh, earnings per share prospects down the road, kind of uh, late stage, defensive. That's what, that, that was yeah. really what was moving the market. Uh, what was going down, and in many ways, you know, you're leveraged, really no earnings, or if you did, your earnings were a long way away, or you were really paying up for them. You know, these names got went down in 2022, 50 to 70%. Uh, this year, they're up 15.3%. Uh, the ones that were the leaders last year, they're up 1.3% roughly in there. In our quarterly, we said, here's the things that we're concerned that we think you need to be concerned about, and then you know would be growth, inflation, recession, uh, what's going to happen with interest rates. Um, what's going to happen geopolitically? You kind of go check, 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 check. Any of those concerns, they're no different now than yeah. that, right? And so, but but what the process that the market went through, October it started out, okay, what if it's not a hard landing? What is a soft landing? And I mean, I love this. I, love, I wish, you the know, no we landing. could, right, right. <laughs> and then that's when we moved into the fictional world. Wait a minute, we can have a no landing. Yeah. How good would that be? Yeah. And so the, the extent of that, I mean, it, it, I know we've talked about this in the past and, and I've written about this an awful lot. Uh, you know, I think that quantitative trading kicks in and, and we start cycling through the, you know, what we think a business cycle could look like, but it could go through it in a week. I think that, that the force of that of what we saw and how quickly it turned to that 
I find that surprising, and I and I think we need, and I think investors need to step back and think about that a little bit. I, I want to bring up the second chart that you brought too, because you got to look here at I think uh, drivers of total returns. I, one thing I'm amazed at is I think that the impatience of the market, like you talk about these fictional, right. it's because you know cycles take time. Right. Social media does not have time. No. For that. And so that's no. maybe the disconnect. Sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. No. That that uh, I mean I think there was a survey in our elevator uh, at, at my office where Very you know yes. <laughs> yeah where you know where. <laughs> But, you know, where you get your news at TikTok, yeah. right? <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. it's pretty quick is yes. all I'm saying. Yes. And so what we're showing here is, 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 of course, is the reminders we like to think about is, is why we, we're talking about right here, right now is because of these extremes if we get into. I wanted to kind of people to be mindful of, of that when you're allocating, if you're allocating to equity markets, you're thinking about ultimately earnings per share growth. That's where the total return comes from. Uh, this... PE stuff and oh well the rates will go back down so I can all over I'll pay up for things that stuff doesn't carry returns over a long term yeah. and, 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 and earnings right. are coming down right now and that's and, and that's the and that's the irony yeah. right is the rate you, and earnings are coming down and and if you started to want to put valuations on this you can kind of look at a scenario analysis for equity markets and you could kind of go your best case scenario is around 4200 for the S&P we're kind of there your base case scenario is probably around 3600 which is with earnings coming down and kind of adjust for that that would seem to be a meaningful place and your worst case would be somewhere around 3200 you can't draw a lot of a scenario that would say that 4200 for the S&P 500 makes a lot of sense all right, stay with us when we come back. Within that environment, we're going to find out uh, what he is thinking from an asset allocation perspective. You're watching Money Talk. We're back with Brad Simpson, Chief Wealth Strategist at TD Wealth.